My name is Bria Van Buehler and I'm a senior chemistry major at Pomona College. Uh, I'm also on the soccer team and I'm hoping this video will show you what a day in the life of a student athlete at Pomona um, looks like. It's 6 a.m. and I'm headed to the locker room to get ready for practice. This is the third day we've done um, practice this early and we have quite a few more coming up in the preseason. Um, generally we'll go to practice this early and then get breakfast together as a team um, and then have some meetings in the middle of the day, go to lunch as a team, um, then have another training in the afternoon or evening when it cools off a little bit. <laughs> Are you excited for 6 a.m. practice? Oh, I've never wanted to do something more. <laughs> Are you excited for 6 a.m. Yes, practice? I'm <laughs> hey Isabel, what time is our practice this morning? <laughs> so, <laughs> we're walking down to practice now. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Wait, no. Except for before we <laughs> Pressure and cover. Restart, restart. We're on our way down to practice now, but first we have a tactical team meeting, so we're gonna learn about our style of play um, and our formation. Um, but yeah, this is the team. Woo! Chirp on three, one, two, three! Chirp! The thing our team does during preseason is we do um, sessions at the Hive, um, which is a 5C creative space on campus. Yeah. And we talk about our team values and team culture, team dynamics. So yeah. we just we had a really good session. We came up with five key words to describe our team. It's great. Um, we're not going to tell you them because those are private. <laughs> So I'm in the lab now working on my SERP. Um, it's a chemistry SERP, so my days are spent from 9 to 5 in the lab working on my own project. What do you know about aptivers? Oh, that's a good question. So our project is about aptivers, which is a word that we had no idea what meant at the beginning of this summer. Um, but basically it is, if you know what an antibody is, it's kind of a nucleic acid, so DNA version of an antibody. So it's something that we make um, in vitro through some evolutionary selection process that can specifically bind onto whatever we want it to bind onto. Um, so the downstream applications of that are things like medical diagnoses. So our aptimer can bind a target molecule and um, give off some signal, probably fluorescence in our case, um, that will let the medical professional know um, the amount of that target molecule in a solution. So, if we get there, that would be awesome, but... Um, we finished our first round yesterday of Celex. Yeah, it's very slow so far, um, but it's all part of the learning process. Oh my gosh, um, here's our advisor. And here's, here's Professor Taylor. Oh. new shirts that we got for working in Professor Taylor's lab. Go Taylor's lab. <laughs> so now I'm on my way to my second class of the day which is physical chemistry um, and it's my last chemistry class that I have to take before finishing my major. Um, the good old chem lounge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, students. All right, all right. 
We're going into Chemistry Commons Student Lounge. Today is a fun day because we're making a barbecue for the rest of the chem department. There's my professor, Professor Taylor, cooking Hi. up some stuff at the stove. Oh, this is great. This is going well. Um, okay. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at a life of a Pomona student athlete. Bye!